hey guys what's up everyone welcome back to another rock review rock analysis video from the apex predator billiards club my name is apex lenio and of course my channel aims to improve my personal game as well as sheer knowledge that i have garnered over my time period practicing and improving my game to get to the top professional level i am from the caribbean island of jamaica and of course i am uh, well i have been playing this game for the better half of 10 years and so i spent the last four five maybe six years relearning the game after spending a lot of time learning the game the wrong way so i'm taking you all on my journey here and i'm now working on improving the game the way how i think play and execute the game of course you can see here i am breaking a rack of nine ball and here you can see i started off with a nice break i deposited the five ball into the bottom left corner pocket here and so I am going to be making an attempt to run this rack. Now, during the process of this rack, you're going to be seeing just the way how I think about the game, how I think about or analyze the way how the pros true to, choose to play and run racks. So here I broke, I pocketed the five, I'm left with a tough shot. And my only option here is a bank on the one into the same pocket that the five was deposited on the break. Now with proper fundamentals, proper speed control, proper aiming systems for banking, I was able to deliver the cue right through the cue ball for a nice bank controlled position. After depositing the one, I got prime position here on the two now the two and the three are connected so i do not have to move the cue ball a lot to get a nice position on the three i just have to play with a little bit of stun draw here and control stroke bumping one rails off the side rail and back into around near the same vicinity as where i deposited the two from so now i have a nice shot on the three here but I have to ensure that I get the proper angle from the four to get back onto the six. So as you see me walking around the table there, you can see that the aim here is to try to find out should I roll, stop or stun draw to get the proper angle. So I decided to just roll about four, maybe five to six inches ahead of this stationary spot now i got a nice angle here on the four it would have been nice to be a little bit steeper meaning less roll on the cue ball but i still have a nice angle here that i can perhaps play some stun follow into to generate the angle to land on the low side of the six but here is where a fundamental error occurred in my stroke slow it down you see that wrist turning that wrist turning there as I'm about to execute the shot is what actually cost me a fairly flawless run out in this rack there after a nice break and that's what caused me to miss that shot now I'm not justifying the reason for the miss I'm simply explaining the reason for the miss and of course that's something that I definitely need to work on so I failed to run out the rack from the initial stage but I continued to play the rack here and so I chose to play a nice cross, cor cross side bank, one rail, letting the cue ball go and there you can see a very nice position, just taking one, two rails on both short rails with a nice speed here, I'm left with a nice angle on the six to get back on to the seven. Now with that said here, you can see that I went around to look at whether I should play for position on the seven on the short side, which is right here, or should I go a couple of reels to play for the combination? And it seems as if I have chosen to play one, two reels, nice control speed. And so I have a wired combination seven, eight into the corner pocket. All right. So 
just you can see there the amount of control and understanding that i have with the cue ball this is something that i've been working on for the past 11 months understanding the way how the cue ball moves around the table like how the pros moved it all right so here i have a nice wired combination nice shot there seven eight the aim was to actually get the seven out into a nice area and i was very fortunate to after pocketing the combination i got a nice little kiss for off the nine to give me a fairly nice position here on the seven so all i have to do here is just i have an angle it's a little bit thin so i have an angle that's leading me towards the corner so i have to alter the cue ball's path by playing with a bit of low inside spin and there you can see i took a three rail position i think i miss hit that cue ball though no lie i think i miss hit but nevertheless a nice position here from the seven to the nine and as i'm about to deposit this ball here that brings us to the end of a fairly knowledgeable rock in which i was quite pleased with the execution of the stroke throughout the rock so uh there you go guys another exciting another knowledgeable video another knowledgeable rock there for you that you can learn cue ball control cue ball um speed cue ball direction proper positional play proper planning proper execution and just overall a very good rock um executed so until next time this is apex elena signing out for another tutorial video please like share and subscribe and i will see you all in my next upload do take care goodbye